friends, it's Cherie, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a pattern haul slash Joanne haul. But first, if you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're a returning person, thank you so much for your continued support. All right, let's get into it. <music> Friends, this was the first time that I have ever gone to Joanne and literally all the patterns that I wanted to buy were a part of the $1.99 cents sale. Now, if you're not familiar with this sale, usually Joanne will have one or two pattern companies that have a $1.99 sale going on at a time. So if it's Simplicity and Butterick, then next time it'll be McCall and Nomi. And that's usually how it goes. But for this last weekend, all the brands were $1.99 and I was so pleased and I got way too many patterns, but I'm really excited about the ones that I got. You know I'm a collector of the patterns, but also I've been sewing up the patterns and I'm doing really well with that, so I'm proud of myself. So I had to get some Nomi patterns because to be perfectly honest, this fall launch was my favorite set of Nomi patterns so far. I was so impressed with all the designs and I could see myself wearing pretty much all of them. There was only a couple that I didn't pick up and it might have been an issue of maybe I didn't think the fit would fit my body right, but I definitely thought they looked super cool. Or maybe they were a man pattern that I don't plan to sew up for my husband. So, but everybody did such a great job with their designs and I was really excited to see what they created for fall. I also got some simplicity patterns, a couple that are new, some that have been out for a while. And I got some patterns for my boys because for Christmas, I normally make them pajamas, but I think I might actually make them something more complicated for Christmas this year. And I also got some McCall patterns. So quite a few patterns, but we're gonna go through them. I'll try to go through quickly. I won't talk too much about each of them because I also want to share with you some other things that I picked up on Crazy Sale. So I want to start by first saying that with this sale, not only did they have the patterns on sale for $1.99, but they also had their fabrics, some of them, on sale for 60% off. So I was able to score some really nice fabric and I'm really excited to share that with you. So I used coupon just like I always do. So I not only I took advantage of the sale, but I used a 25% off coupon that took a percentage off of everything. So I wanna tell you how much I saved. It's insane. I don't think I've ever saved this much money at one trip, but it was $523.04 is how much I saved overall. I'm so pleased. <laughs> I'm so pleased. I was like a kid in a candy store when I was in there and it was like Thursday night. So there wasn't a lot of people in there and I could just take my time. I think I was gone from home for about two hours. It was great. It was fantastic. I love those little trips like that. Okay. Um, let's start with the patterns. I'll share with you the simplicity patterns that I got first. And some of them are double. So it's not a ton of simplicity patterns that I got. The first one I was excited to see right away online when it launched and I could not wait to buy it. This is Simplicity S9825. It is a blazer. Now I do plan on making a heather blazer for the fall, but I definitely love the style of this blazer and I like that it actually has a um, shoulder pad. So it's going to give it a little bit of a different look and I like this pattern a lot. This particular pattern has two views and I think the only difference in the views is that there is a contrasting collar for view B. But it's a very nice looking blazer that I think would look so great over dresses, skirts, with pants. Really nice classic looking bla blazer and I like that it has two large pockets on the front. So the next pattern I got is another one that I thought would be perfect for work. And this is Simplicity S9826. And it is a four piece pattern. So we have a cardigan, we have a camisole, you have a full length pant or a crop pant. And these pants have pleats in the front and it looks like a hook and bar closure. It looks like a very comfortable, easy, to wear outfit and I like all the pieces so I picked this one up. The next one is a Mimi G pattern and I have to take it out because I grabbed a counter copy. It's Simplicity S9822 and it is her boiler suit, flight suit, jumpsuit <laughs> and this is what it looks like. 
She's done some really beautiful versions that she shared on social media and they are absolutely gorgeous. Here's what's interesting. I told myself I wasn't going to buy this pattern because I bought a jumpsuit that looks almost identical to this from Target and I got it on crazy sale. I wanna say I paid like 30 bucks for it. I wore that thing on Saturday. It was the best thing that I've ever worn. <laughs> I just thought I was so cute and comfortable all day. I went to two soccer games, I grocery shopped, I did all the things in that jumpsuit and it was fantastic, okay? Um, but I still picked up the pattern because I thought I might make it in a different fabric. As you know, I plan on making the Blanca flight suit uh, in two different fabrics coming up here soon. So I think this will just be something I have in my collection until I'm ready to make another jumpsuit. So the next one is an older Mimi G pattern. And I got this because I like the long version of this coat. This is Simplicity S8749. And I have seen lots of versions of the longer coat and they are fabulous. So I think it's cool because it's more of a relaxed looking coat. It looks more like a blazer, only really long. So it'd be perfect for a place like where I live where it doesn't get super, super cold or super, super hot. I could see myself wearing a jacket like this during the fall and winter and being very comfortable. It would look great dressed up or down. So I'm happy that I got my hands on this pattern. And lastly, I got a couple of patterns for my boys, Simplicity S9719. Now this is the child size version of the man's jogger suit that I cut out for my husband. Yes, I'm gonna sew it, I promise. <laughs> but anyway, I figure once I sew his, the boys are gonna be like, oh wow, that's so cool, I want one too. So I got one for each of them so that I can just, you know, cut out their size instead of tracing it off. I used to trace out all of the kid patterns so I can get the most wear out of the patterns, but then I was like, for $1.99, I might as well just cut into the pattern. So I got one for each of them, plus my Cameron's gonna grow out of this very soon. He's, he's almost as tall as I am. So I got two of those. And lastly, I had already purchased one of these for one of my children. And again, I mentioned I was going to trace off the size. Well, I don't want to. So I bought another one so that they can each have their own pattern. And this is S9561. So I'll probably be making the largest version for my 10 year old who's almost 11. And then, you know, saving that cut pattern for when my youngest who's eight grows into that size. So there you have it. Those are my simplicity patterns. Let's talk about the McCall patterns that I picked up. And I actually got a few pajama patterns or a couple of pajama patterns because I definitely need some pajamas. They're so lacking in my closet, it's ridiculous. So I got this pattern. I've seen a few other people have picked this up over the past few months and I think it's fantastic. It has a bodysuit, it has shorts, pants, and like a robe. So I am really interested actually in the robe, the pants, and the shorts, not necessarily the bodysuit. I personally wouldn't sleep comfortably in a bodysuit, especially because it has the snap closures in the crotch. No, thank you. That sounds like um, a trapped prison cell and I'm not doing it. I need to be flowy and loose and comfortable and things need to breathe, okay? <laughs> So no bodysuit for sleeping for me, but um, it could be cute if you wanted to make it as a bodysuit to wear out and about, not to sleep in. But I definitely love the vibe of the pants, the shorts, and the robe. So I'm definitely going to make this and I'm really excited I finally got it. Now this is an older pajama pattern that I missed out on and it could be because it was newer in my sewing journey and I wasn't trying more complicated things, but this is McCall M8056. This is what it looks like. It's really great robe, pants, and a button-up shirt. So I think this would be really cute. I'm considering making this out of a gorgeous rayon chalet that I have. And I think it looks luxe. <laughs> like I look like I'll be able to throw that on and look so great in my pajamas to go downstairs and get a glass of water or maybe, you know, answer the door. So I don't have cute pajamas, you guys. I'm definitely, my mom has purchased me pajamas because that's my favorite thing for her to buy me. And those are my Christmas pajamas, but I need a couple of more than just that one. And but when she buys me pajamas, she gets them from Soma and they are the softest, most coziest jammies. I wear them until they have holes. I mean, for real, I, I wear them out. It's, it's really sad. And every year she asks me, what do you want for Christmas? And I say pajamas. <laughs> because I don't buy them for myself and I haven't been making them for myself. So this year I'm making pajamas. 
Okay, the next pattern I got two of, and it's McCall M8408, and that is this jean pattern. And I always knew when this launched that I was gonna get it at some point, but now that people are actually making them and I'm seeing some beautiful versions online, I'm inspired. I will have lots and lots of denim scraps left over from all the denim projects that I'm already working on. And so I think from what I have left over from those projects, I should be able to put together a really cool pair of these pants. And not to be copy copy, but I definitely like the way this looks. Another thought that I had is instead of having three different colors of jean, I would use this main color on the top and the bottom and just have a single contrast in the middle. I think that would be really cute. And also I think that would work appropriately for the fabrics that I have in my stash. But I've been loving sewing pants lately. I've been having some good luck. Things have been working out. <laughs> so I definitely wanna give this a try. And I got two of them because I'm not sure what size I'll fall into. I will do my normal thing where I do a size 16 and if it's too big, then I'll have the 14. So that's that. The next pattern I also got two of, and they are pant patterns, and this is the M8206. Love these cargos. They look so comfortable and wide leg. Definitely looks like something that I would have worn in high school or junior high, and they look so cool and comfortable, and I know I would work really well on these and could wear them for most of the things that I do in my life. So I really like this pattern, and so I got two for the same reason that I got two of the other so that it could fit my waist. So the next pattern is so cute. It is the McCall, oh, it's a counter copy. Ugh. <laughs> it is McCall M8437. And it is so cute, these overalls. I always buy the overall patterns, you guys, especially if they have a wider leg. There are some that are, have a skinny leg that I will never buy, but this one is by the designer Brandy, and I love her style. Everything that she's come out with so far, I thought was super cute. I didn't get the other ones because there was a, part, a pattern that had a very mini skirt and that's not my vibe, um, but I think it looks so cool and cute. And then the other one that I really liked had the whole back out and no, not with these boobs. I gotta have all the supportive bra situation going on and so that was not appropriate for me either. And she's had some other patterns that I just thought were so fabulous but just didn't fit for my body type and how comfortable I feel in my clothes. But this one's right up my alley. This is absolutely something I wanna sew and I actually have a fabric that I want to use to make this. Um, I love that it has a very unique back on it. Like none of my overall patterns have that type of back. It's just so cute and I definitely could see myself making this. I've made several overalls jumpsuits in my um, sewing period of time. So this one, when I saw it, it was like, duh, absolutely I'm making that. So last McCall pattern that I got is M7638 and it is a jacket pattern for a man and child. So I am in the process of making my husband's jacket for our anniversary, that's what he requested. And I know that once my eight year old sees his dad's, he's probably gonna want one. So this is the first boys jacket pattern that I have seen and so I picked it up and I'm really happy about it. So those are all the McCall patterns that I picked up. Now we're gonna get into the most exciting ones, which are my Nomi patterns. I'm so pleased with these patterns. I, I am impressed, first of all, with the creativity of these pattern designers. I am so impressed. They definitely get the vibe that I'm into and I'm so happy to support them. So the first one is the Alyssa Threads pattern. It's ME2057 and I shared in my last video that I would be picking up this pattern. So I'm really glad that I finally got it. It is definitely a pattern that I plan to use with quilted fabric and I did share with you the quilted fabric that I plan to use. And so this one is really cool because you can make it with or without a hood and it has a zipper front and really nice pockets. I am so happy to have this. It's going to make my life so much easier because I was actually planning to size up on a pattern jacket pattern that I already have in my sash to accom accommodate the quilted fabric but I won't have to do that with this pattern because one of the suggestions is quilted fabric so happy about that also my friend Ella she came out with a really great jacket as well ME 2058 and this is her jacket she just posted a new version of this jacket on her Instagram that took my breath away I love it that one has some blue colors but Anyways, it's this version, but it's in blues and it's so cute. I plan on making this version here. And again, I'm going to be using quilted fabric. 
This is so good. I love everything about it. I love that it has the snap buttons instead of a zipper or regular buttons. I'm Cause I'll tell you what, when I did my jacket out of my quilted fabric, the Ilford jacket, um, I did buttonholes that were really large and it was so hard to do the buttonholes in that thick fabric. So I think that if I can use my tool to attach the snaps, um, it'll be easier to do that. And it actually looks really nice. So I'm excited about this and I really can't wait to get going on it. I'm gonna have to ask her though, whether or not she thinks I need to size up if I'm using quilting fabric because while one of her versions does look quilted, it looks softer. It looks more like a double gauze that's been quilted, not necessarily like a quilt quilt fabric. So I'll have to talk to her about that because this is going down, okay? I'm definitely making this. Oh, so good. All right, the next pattern I'm also excited about, it is the Beauty Du Jour pattern ME2052. And this is my vibe. This is my all, this is my vibe, okay? Like you guys have seen my plans for fall, my sewing plans. This is the vibe, okay? Loose fitting oversized button up blouse with a wide comfortable pair of pants. These are cropped. I wanna make sure that I measure the crop on them because I like a cropped pants when it stops above my shoe. If I'm sewing some shin, that's too much for me. I don't like to be super cold so that won't work for me but i love this pattern so much and again i already have a fabric that could look really cool in this pattern it has some really neat patches on it that i think will look so good and i'm excited this this is this is a good one i so far have been so impressed with all of her designs but this one right here will fit into my everyday life and i love it so the next one is the Stitch Fits, and this is ME2053. And this particular pattern I picked up because you know I'm on a kick with that pleated front pant, okay? I love it, so I do like this a lot. Now, I don't love a back weld pocket though, so I'll probably not add that feature. As a matter of fact, I just filmed my fall um, capsule wardrobe the first two completed outfits and I forgot to mention that in the pants that I made I omitted the welt pocket and the reason why is because to me those pockets are pointless because the only thing I'm putting in my back pocket is a phone and those pockets are never big enough for a phone also I don't like that when I'm wearing them they start to bunch up in there and it just doesn't feel good like I just don't think they're necessary but other than that these are fantastic they look beautiful and I definitely want to make this. I also like the t-shirt. It's a very unique looking t-shirt and I think that will be really cute. So she's got amazing style as well. I have definitely loved her patterns looking at them. I did purchase her dress pattern from the last season um, and I have to do some alterations to it to make it work for my body because of my bust, but her style is impeccable and I absolutely love this pattern. So now, Kichi B style. Any pattern she designs, I'm gonna pick up because I just love her style so much. But this is ME2054. The sweatshirt is everything. Um, now the pants, I'll be honest, they're not like my immediate like attraction to this pattern. They are very gorgeous on her. They look fantastic. There are just some design features on here that are really cool, but just not my style. Like I would never do a cargo pocket under the butt on the back of my pants. It just seems uncomfortable. And if I do a lot of sitting, it just seems awkward to me, so I probably wouldn't do that. Also, it has a very neat crossover waist, and that's something else that I probably would not um, wear. I don't know, I might change my mind. They look fantastic on her, so maybe I'll give it a shot. But I already know, like, I get a little fussy about how my clothes fit on me, and I think it might bother me. But the sweatshirt is everything, you guys. I've never seen a sweatshirt like this. Isn't it so cool? So I'm really happy to have picked up this pattern, and I can't wait to wear it. It has such a unique shoulder feature on it, and then it is just very comfortable and cool. It has a hood. I love it. So I'm really pleased about this one. The next one that I got is the Corny Rainbow. I got this because of the joggers. I think they look great. They have some really cool color blocking. They are kind of a cargo style of jogger in that they have lots of pockets on them as well. I think they look cool and I would be very pleased to have these in my wardrobe. I do like the bodysuit, but I don't like thong bodysuits ever. I don't want anything in my butt 
like, like no, never. I don't like it. It's uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm not interested. So I could see myself actually tracing this bodysuit over a bodysuit pattern that I already have in my stash that has a full bum, uh, but still utilizing the beautiful design of the top half of this bodysuit. So that's a thought. But really, I, I got this for the joggers. Very cute. The next pattern is another one that was released in the last season, and it is a beauty du jour pattern. It is ME2046. I've seen lots of versions of this, and it was the most recent sell your view on Instagram, and people turned out some lovely versions. I definitely wanna be a part of the club and make a lovely version as well because it looks so great on everyone, and it's a very comfortable looking dress that can be dressed up or down, and I think that this is fantastic, so I'm glad I picked it up. The next pattern is Dewana Chandler's pattern. It's ME2051, and this is great. This pattern is so good. I mean, I've been wanting a really nice, supportive sports bra, and she's got me covered. It has all the coverage that you need and support in a bra situation that I would hope for. It looks really great. It also has a high-waisted legging pattern that is so cute. I just love this. The little anorak jacket. I don't know if that's what you call it. That's what I'm going to call it all the pieces they all look so great and i'm very happy about this pattern she did such a great job so cool lastly i'm making my husband's jacket and i was having a little bit of analysis paralysis and i couldn't make a decision on the pattern before i cut it so i picked up the norris nomi pattern which is me 2036 this shagat pattern so that i could give my husband options i just want him to be so happy with the jacket that he receives so i picked this up as well so those are all the patterns that I picked up in the pattern sale. I know that was a lot of patterns, friends, but you know that I'm a collector and I do all the sewing, okay? So if you enjoyed watching all of those patterns, please do give me a thumbs up now. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. All right, let me share with you the other things that I picked up. As I mentioned before, the fashion fabric or apparel fabric was on sale 60% off. There were some things that weren't 60% off, but the thing that I picked up was, and it is this beautiful brushed cotton fabric. It is fantastic. I love it so much. I'm going to insert a picture of a blazer that I fell in love with and almost purchased a week ago on the screen, and I could not do it because the blazer is almost $300. And when I saw this fabric at Joanne, I was like, I'm gonna make my blazer. I don't need to buy this. So I purchased this fabric. Now you're probably wondering like, girl, you don't need that much fabric for a blazer. But this is about seven yards and um, the normal price is $11.99. It is a brushed cotton, a part of the Platitude line and it's 44 inches wide. The reason why I got so much is because I definitely want to make a wide leg pant with a pleated front to go along with my blazer. So the amazing part about this is not only was it 60% off, but then I used a coupon. So before even applying the coupon, this fabric, this whole bolt of seven yards was $24 before the coupon. That is unheard of. I mean, I'm gonna get a blazer and pants, whereas if I had purchased that blazer, all I would have had was a blazer and I would have spent nearly $300. Learn to sew, friends. If you don't sew yet, that's one reason to learn to sew right there. If you shop a sale, you can make something beautiful instead of purchasing it ready to wear. So this is the fabric and I'm obsessed with it. It's gorgeous, it's soft, I love it. Now for this blazer, it's going to be lined. I believe I'm going to do the Heather blazer. I'm not certain yet. Um, so I got some lining fabric and these lining fabrics were only 30% off, but still a good deal. I got this one, which is one that I've already purchased before in the past, so I know that it's a nice one. It is a polyester, I want to say acetate, I could be wrong about that. And this is also a polyester because I do plan to make um, another blazer as well out of some cotton twill that I have in my stash. So these were 30% off. Also, the buttons were buy three, get three. So I got a ton of buttons and I'm really excited about it. If you don't know this about me, I'm a button collector. I love all the buttons. Um, I spend a lot of money on buttons, but I've also started making my own buttons and I keep saying I wanna film the process of that, but I need to do that. So I got these really gorgeous blazer buttons, or at least that's how I plan to use them. Really lovely, they look like they're leather covered. 
really beautiful. And they will look so nicely with the fabrics that I've selected for these blazers. And I'm so pleased because they're going to look so professional looking with those buttons. So I got several sizes. And then also I got shirt buttons and they're just clear shirt buttons. And I'm happy about the buttons that I got. These are going to be perfect for every type of dress shirt. I wanna make that Vogue button up dress shirt that has the buttons up the arm. And that one takes like 24 buttons. So I got a ton of these, especially since they were buy three, get three. And I also got some threads that were buy three, get three. So that's everything that I picked up at my Joann's haul. I'm going to show you two more fabrics that I picked up that are gonna go along with some of the patterns that I just shared with you. For the Brandy jumpsuit, the overalls, I have this beautiful recycled denim fabric that I got from Blackbird Fabric, and it is made from recycled denim. It is a very interesting texture, really nice and gorgeous. It's gray, and it has colored speckles throughout since it is made from recycled denim. I think it's fantastic. It has zero stretch, really beautiful. I bought two yards of it, and I think that it'll be enough for that jumpsuit, however, or overalls. But however, if it isn't quite enough, I can make the bib and the pockets from the fabric that I'm gonna show you now. So it'll have a little bit of a color block feel to it. So the next color way that I got is a more true light denim color. And again, because it's recycled denim, it has colored specks in it. Really sturdy no stretch in these guys and again from blackbird fabric this one is the pale blue fleck and both of these fabrics are 61 inches wide which is fantastic and it's two meters and the reason why i got this color is because i knew it would look my camera overheated and shut down on me hmm my new camera i feel as though i have more issues with my new camera than with my old camera it's like the battery dies every 20 minutes and also it overheats. My old, my other camera does not do that. I got this camera so that it will be easy to vlog with. <laughs> and I'm not happy that I have so much drama with this camera. But anyways, I digress. I was talking about the quality of this gorgeous Blackbird fabric. So it's beautiful. I love that it's made from recycled denim. Neither of these cuts has any stretch to them, which is kind of a bummer because after making these Megan Nielsen Ash jeans that I'm wearing right now that I love that have molded to my body and just feel so great, <laughs> I think I want to make more jeans out of stretch denim. However, I think these are beautiful and the styles that I plan on sewing with them are not very close fitting garments. So it'll be nice to have a nice non-stretch denim so they're kind of pricey i'm not gonna lie and also when you order from blackbird fabric if you live in the u.s it does take a long time i want to say it took about three to four weeks for me to receive my order but the quality of the fabric makes it to where i don't mind that it took longer to receive so really beautiful cuts of fabric that's everything that i've purchased i probably should stop purchasing but i mean i love i love I love <laughs> to buy things. I love fabric. I love patterns. I love crafts. So it is what it is. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a fantastic day, a wonderful week, and a great start to your fall 2023. Talk to you soon. Bye.